Hello, YouTube family. Welcome back. Okay, here's part two. I did it. I cleared out this one. My old seed box that was all crazy and convoluted. And I put them in here. Oh, it's so lovely. I can't wait till you guys see it. So let me just show you what I did with this one. Because I did decide to keep it. Just to put my, um, my seed catalogs in. And store my other stuff that's uh, non-food. And those uh, boxes, those recipe boxes, I went ahead. I didn't use them in there because they're just too big and awkward. I have this in here for now. I don't know. I'll probably use them for something in the house. But um, as of now, that's where they are. Here's some more. This is my receipts from ordering all my labels, which are so adorable. And you know, chalk board is in style now. So before it goes out, I've stocked up. So, and this can go anywhere. It doesn't matter in the garage or whatnot. It doesn't even matter. Let me lock that back up. And I thank you for what you have done for me all these years. But now I have this. Okay. Here we go. Drum roll, please. I'm just so excited. And I did a lot of YouTube, and I was just like, uh, after... I uh, bought this and I thought like, oh, what are people using and all this and that just to see. And it was just traditional Tupperwares and jars and putting them in refrigerators. Well, I can't, I can't afford to do that. I use my refrigerator for he the here and now. So storing is something that I just, I, I don't even know. And then that moisture that happens, you know, you, you open it. I can't keep nothing in there. Everything has an expiration date and I don't want this to have an expiration date. Like... So we'll just see. So here's that uh, lid that I mentioned that has the mirror. Okay, so I need that. And this little top shelf, just for now, it just has my mask, uh, the little envelopes. So whenever I uh, give seeds away, I can put them in there. A box cutter and this little gadget that I don't want to lose. So anyway, it's just there until I use it. Uh, so here we go. What I did use from those little black and white recipe box are the actual um, label cards. So I just hand wrote peppers and then hot and sweet because that's basically all that peppers are, hot and sweet, you know. So I have all different kinds. They're not in any specific order other than being peppers. Uh, here I have my cukes. Um, these ones that are in bags are because they're open and that's how they were stored inside that other box previously. Here's some ones that are not. I get my um, seeds from a variety of places. Um, I think this one was a, a heirloom. I think this came from Market Morse. Came from Costco. I had a little nice little kit going on. And my decadent packages are in here to retain that moisture. So whenever I find them, oh, I need to focus this camera better. Whenever I find them, they're in shoes, uh, containers, whatever, I keep them. Throw them right in here, and I have been. I've been keeping them for a long time. Um, so yeah, the cucumbers are there. I uh, call these my herbs. So I got basil, dill, cilantro. I think I added uh, tarragon not too long ago. Oh no, just a little packet. So it had uh, parsley, chives, oregano, and some more thyme. So I have a ton of thyme inside of my um, yeah, so just this is in here. Yeah, so, oh my God, I have a ton of cilantro. I'm looking more and more. Like, I need, oh, but I love it. So, oh, there's some deal. Okay, so there's that. This one here has my tomatoes and tomatillos. Because I, yeah, I know they're not a part of the same family because tomatillos are gooseberries, goose which is a fruit, but still, you know, in my mind, my, my language, it is. Uh, this little container here came from a uh, good friend and co-worker when uh, she went to the Philippines. She uh, smuggled, I guess that's all you can say, <laughs> she smuggled some back. And this is the uh, fourth generation, fourth year, so maybe fourth generation or so of seeds that she gave me. And I've had them for two years and uh, they were good. So uh, this little thing here, let me show you this. This came from, I'm here in Cali California. So we have our state fair that happens every year. And this one happened to be from July 8th to the 24th. 
Well, this little packet here, and they had this beautiful farm area set up outside, but um, they actually gave these packets away. And let me show you what this is. There's seeds on here. There is a tomato seed there. It doesn't, they don't know what kind it is. It's just how it is. So there's some seeds embedded in there. I don't know if you can see that that good. Can you see that? There's seeds in there. So you just put them in the ground. I just thought that was the niftiest little thing. And they were handing them out to kids and everything just to promote, you know, healthy eating and uh, wanting everyone to have a sustainable uh, food. And this is what we do here in California. I mean, we've got this beautiful sun. We've got to take advantage of it. I do completely understand how blessed I am to be living here where a season is truly a season. Um, I've been having tomatoes for a very long time. Uh, and I know some people in different states are just barely getting some, you know, their greens are, you know, their the green tomatoes are just barely showing. I'm on my second session and I've got my second round going. And for that, I am truly happy and thankful. So I wanted to show you these seeds came from a Tomato Bob. If you guys haven't heard of them, I highly recommend that you check them out. They have a ton of varieties. This is a White Wonder. There's a bunch. Look at it. And I don't want to lose these. Some purple, red, um, just, you know. And like I said, like I believe these ones were the ones that were for 50 cents. Oh, my God. And I go crazy. And I don't care. I don't care. What, why would I spend my money on something that is, you know, not going to benefit my family? Whereas, you know, in these that, and that's it. I don't need to order anymore. Unless I see them on the clearance somewhere. Like this one was on the clearance. So what is that? A, a green grape cherry tomato. And I thank you. Look at that. 50 of them in there. So anyway, so there's that. That's enough of me talking about that and justifying my spending habits. <laughs> so there's that. I'm going to close that one up. Put the lid back on. You have to excuse me. I only got one hand. And here's the brand again. I'll add the link at the bottom. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to take off the next layer here. Okay, so that was that top one. And here goes the second one. And we got here. Okay, so this one are root vegetables. So what I did was anything that grows in the ground. I went ahead and put them in this side. Uh, carrots, beets, potatoes, onions, and radishes. Now, potatoes are not in here, but I'm, you know, fully aware that they grow in the earth, so that's what that's about. Now, I know I mentioned to you guys, or you seen the last time that they had the dividers in here and all this, so this is what I meant by that. You can take them out and do whatever you want. So this is what I did. This is what I wanted to do, so this is how I did it. So I have roots in here, brassicas in here. Um in greens in here so those are the greens I have watercress and I spinach char kale all that look at that look at how wonderful this is these are some of my older ones I had um I ordered from salt from this uh salt specialty place online anyway they give you these little containers so I had kept them and I put like just a little label from whatever was in here and I just leave them in there. So those are my older seeds. I know that to be true. This one's our Detroit dark red beets. You know, and they're preserved in there nicely as well. Uh, and look at here, some more seeds there. These are my Fetco seeds. And I did this because they come in all different sizes. You know, these envelopes are all different sizes. And it was the, the quantity that I had. Okay. So, for myself, I know which ones to use first. Try to hurry up and use these because I know these are the oldest. Um, again, I have these little packets in here. There's that. This. Some, some broccoli. Oh, you guys haven't tried old-timey. Uh, blue collars, I highly recommend you do. These are good. I have some growing in the uh, lawn now. Uh, kale, just everything. There we go. Cabbages. There's my greens in there. Okay, so there's that one. Let me go ahead and take this one off. Okay, so here's my. 
third layer. Okay, so I made this this full side right here. And this one I have my legumes. So we've got beans and peas. Okay, so they're a nice hearty bag. So just made sure I gave them plenty of space and all that there. So I've got some bush beans here. I've got my pole beans and my peas, snow peas, um, regular uh, green arrow shell peas. Again, these are from Fat Farm. And then just your, what, Kentucky probably here? Yeah, Kentucky Wonder. Can't go wrong with those. Um, it's in these guys. Blue speckle, oh, it's blue gray speckle tapari bean. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't. And then my black beans. So look at how awesome these ones are already open again for the moisture. I think if I store this in the, if, because it's dark, because it's locked and sealed and it has this installation. I don't see why it's no different than being in the refrigerator. I'm not gonna put it in the garage if I can help it. Maybe in the winter I could. I could throw it out there, but this summer here, oh, no, 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 not gonna happen. Okay, so this little corner, you see it's how tiny it is because I don't really grow that many fruit. I mean, there's only so much fruit you can grow. So I have my cantaloupe. Um, oh, this Korean melon right now. I, let me just open this up for you all who haven't seen this or know what this is. This fruit is delicious and I have some growing right now a sweet Korean melon and it grows up a little just like a, a nice hand a big as a hand and has these creases in it beautiful yellow oh but it tastes so nice so when I seen the seed I thought oh my goodness they you know I can buy this because I've always gotten them at a farmer's market at a certain season and I just even wasn't sure what it was. I just knew when I seen it, I wanted it and, you know, order it, you know, buy it right then because if not, you know, it won't, you won't see it again for a while. So anyway, they are growing and they are beautiful out there. Uh, so yeah, these are my fruits. These are my fruit and still some more of these little packets in here, all different kinds, you know, whenever you see them, I don't, I'm not like they're in the way anymore. I used to all the time. Uh, these are my orange glow, I believe. A good friend of mine gave me these seeds some, some time back. And um, I think this is just a regular honeydew. Okay. All right, so here's this part right here. And it did come with the key. I don't need to lock it. Okay, so remember this little Ziploc thing that was here? Well, I have my pan in here and then the dividers that, um, I didn't use so there they are so that I don't lose them and I believe I put the key in here too okay. in the chalk marker this is what you need for writing on those little chalk things okay. okay so what I did decide to put in here was my journal uh, that I used to uh, write all my uh, information down about my plans so just whatever things that uh, just you know how we journal. That's it. So there's that. Okay. And who's to say I won't be using that for something else? All right. So my top drawer. I got my peanuts in. So I did want to go ahead and use my peanuts uh, for this slot here. And I actually have more than just that. The ones that I mentioned. So I, I don't really know the name. I don't know why these names are so unique, but. I could focus in. I, those are those peanuts. Okay, and these came from Baker Feet. These are these peanuts. And I had to use two drawers for this. So, that one came from Gurney's. So that's that snug, snug I was mentioning. These are the Virginia Jumbos. Just for those who may be interested in peanuts, why not? And this is a big old juicy one here, so I'm happy when I see those. Here's that. And then down here oh, is my corn. Um, I only plant uh, heirloom corn, open pollinated. I don't, you know, it's hard to find, but uh, I haven't even tried this one, but maybe I'll try it. 
Um, but this right here is my Lutheran Hill Open Pollinated Sweet Corn from Fedco. I do practice the uh, Back to Eden uh, tradition of gardening. And then I also have my grow bags for those who haven't checked out all my videos uh, on YouTube. Okay, so this one right here has flowers. I know that to be true because I don't plant flowers in my garden. I make little individual potters, pots for those. These are some seeds that are open already. And then just the, the traditional random uh, seeds. Nasturgeon. This is a bachelor button mix. Uh, and then the little ones that you get for 20 cents from Walmart, maybe. I'm not even sure. Just why not? They're, um, the bees and all that. These have been open and they seal back, but sometimes not all of them seal back. Too good, so this is my way of preserving seeds for a lifetime. Maybe a few lifetimes. I'm not sure what child of mine would like these inherited to them once I am not here any longer. But, um, yeah. So this one right here, I have my squashes in. And I'm thinking maybe I'll, I'll trade this for the fruit ones because the squash I use way more than I do the fruit. I think maybe I'll do that. So here's some squash here. I have some uh, summer squash, uh, Max Go Zucchinis. So that's one of my older ones. There's only a few seeds left, so... That'll be going in next time. And I've got all these. Open pollinated squash and zucchini. These little fellas here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. As a matter of fact, I might just trade that one. And the pumpkin. <laughs> okay, and it's at the bottom. Oh, okay. The bottom is the randoms. And I only say random because, you know. Um, what do we got? Asparagus here, uh, eggplants, and okras. Yeah, those are my okras. And some eggplant. Yep, so I got eggplant, asparagus, and okra. All at the bottom. There's not that many. It's hard to find the heirloom kind. Okay, guys. So that's it. So. I hope that you all are able to find something that is suitable for you and the seeds that you collect and want to preserve and you think that you may just not have space for it. This little device here can go in any corner of the house and in the winter time, uh, you know, you can have it go to the garage. I'm just going to put it in a little corner of the house. I have this little area that I use, so I'm okay. But um, if a fire breaks out, <laughs> this might be the thing I go running for. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Got to get the kids <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> so there's that. I hope I didn't miss anything. I'm telling you guys about this and you find this very useful I don't want to drag on the uh, the video it's already been almost 20 minutes but look at look at how awesome it is Still, everyone, and it seems like it's durable I mean women have to use this for um, carrying their makeup day after day and wear and tear and in the car and out the car and all that and I'll only need it for in the house. And this little compartment is what I'll take because it has that handle to carry out. Or, oh, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, I think maybe this second part can have the handle. I mean, uh, let me see real quick. You guys are going to check this out with me. I'm thinking, oops. I'm thinking this part. Oh, don't let me break it. I'm thinking this part can go here. So I don't have to. Okay. I can just take this out to the backyard. Let's see. Oh, 
have there you have it i don't even have to interchange i was thinking to myself like oh okay if i decide that i want to um like this was the only part i'd take outside but i don't i can just you know i thought oh let me just grab this whole stack replace it and all that but now that i see that this part can clearly go on top of this and i can walk out with it then there we go okay so oh nice this is Thank you for tuning in. I hope you all like it. No, it's not nothing too spectacular. I think it is. Thank you for watching. And as always, happy gardening and God bless. Bye-bye.